So I want to explain something about the Civil War. Now, some people say the Civil War is about states' rights, and other people say it's about slavery. Now, from my understanding, the Civil War was about slavery, according to the abolitionists, because the abolitionists knew that in order to get rid of slavery, they had to start a war. Now, the Southerners, they had, a, well, the Democrats in the South, they had a problem with the election. They believed in states' rights. So what they mean by that is that the Republicans said that they are going to eliminate slavery in the Western territories if they win. The Democrats were saying, let the people decide whether it's going to be a free or slave state, hence states' rights. So the Republicans won, and then they banned slavery into the Western territories. And of course, that's a point of contention. It's like, why are you completely disqualifying, you know, um, one side of the country. We're supposed to be united. It's supposed to be a union because that was a union. Like when Lincoln was elected, the union is actually the North and the South. That's the union, the North and the South. So they were very upset that they were barred from the Western territories. It was not fair. What they were proposing was fair. States' rights. Let the people decide whether it's going to be a free or slave state in the Western territories. That makes perfect sense. But they were blocked off like from that. So it's like Amazon in the South and their competitor in the North. Their competitor can expand into the Western territories, but Amazon can't. You see, that's a huge problem. But the thing is that it's not explained that way and it's very annoying. It's very annoying. So what is also interesting is that they don't talk about the rebellion in the North. Like Lincoln had to jail, imprison thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people because they were upset about what was going on in the South, that they were invading the South. They knew that, because they've heard so many times that the abolitionists have been saying for such a long time that the only way to get rid of slavery was to have a war. And after shortly after the election, they had a war. So the Northerners knew what was up. They knew what time it is, and they started rebelling against the federal government. But the thing is that they don't talk about this when they talk about the Civil War, about what was going on in the North. He had to arrest thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. He had to shut down or control the newspapers. He had to control the, um, the mail. It was a problem in the North. They rebelled because they knew the abolitionists were up to no good, and they wanted to stop it. But they don't talk about it. You see, that's the kind of dishonesty. And then when you notice something like that, you know something's wrong with the narrative about that situation. That's something that you should be able to talk about. The North having a problem with what's... Because the Northerners did not want... They didn't like slavery, but they did not want slavery to end. The Northerners. The abolitionists, of course. And the Northerners did not like the abolitionists. The Northerners were racist they did not like black people, and they wanted the Western territory to be all white and all free. Now, what's interesting is that Lincoln, some people would say that he's a racist, but is he though? Because all he had to do was beat the rebels and maintain slavery, and then white people would have that territory for themselves. So right now, if that happened and he didn't get rid of slavery, white people would be thoroughly in control of the United States. The things that are happening now, the changes that are happening now, would not be happening if they had control of the Western territories. But he got rid of slavery, and then now Black people could go anywhere in the United States, and they didn't like that. So if a Southerner wasn't going to kill Lincoln, a Northerner was going to kill Lincoln, because he went against his word because they specifically wanted the Western Territory to be all white and all free and did not want black people there. They wanted that territory for themselves. So it was actually kind of brilliant because, I mean, like, uh, I have my reasons for saying that slavery was actually beneficial for black people uh, because I, actually when black people got out of slavery, we started getting attacked and marginalized. So the, all the lynchings, all attacks on black communities, that would not happen under slavery. 
because the, the slave owner wouldn't tolerate his slave being lynched every time. They would put a stop to that. You understand? I want to make sure that when my slave goes to the market, my slave is coming back. Okay, so a lot of white people actually would be in prison for attacking black people. So they wouldn't, right? If Black Wall Street was a slave plantation, all those Caucasians would have been rounded up and executed because they destroyed a massive amount of property. The slave owners wouldn't tolerate that. But under the free system, it was much easier to attack a black person and deprive them of their livelihood. Now you could push black people out of jobs, they become vagrants, and they resort to crime, then you push them in prisons. Well, that wasn't happening before, unless you consider working prison, because they were working, they were being productive, and you could get out of slavery. It wasn't for life. So there's a lot of misrepresentation when it comes to slavery. But it had to be destroyed because it would destroy everything that they say about black people and white people working together because black and white people working together in the South. As strange as that sounds, yes, they were because there was a lot of mulattoes in the South. It wasn't a white supremacist society. And I keep on saying that to people and they don't, they, they realize that, well, I don't really know if they, because they're indoctrinated, but I always say that the South was had a lot of mulattoes, and also the South was forced to separate by law. Now, if the South was forced to separate by law, that doesn't make any sense. The South is supposed to be more racist than the North. How could a more racist society, first of all, have a whole bunch of Black people in positions of power, because that's what happened. Um, a whole bunch of Black people got into positions of power in the South, which is supposed to be more racist than the North. And also... The Southerners were forced to separate by law because the Northerners won, right? So the Northerners came down and they um, they took control of the South. So they put their ideology into the South. So when they saw black people in positions of power, they couldn't stand that. So they started kicking black people out. And then uh, they, they created a law in order to separate Caucasians and Negroes. Now a law is to stop something what's happened before. So before they were mingling, oh, we don't want that. No, 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 we don't want that because we don't have that in the North. We don't like the mingling in the North. So we're not gonna tolerate the mingling in the South. We're controlling things now. We're not gonna control uh, mingling in the South. Um, they're gonna control mingling in the South. So they created a law, separate. Now you can't mingle, you know, that 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 is their ideology. So the South was far more friendly to black people than the Northerners. But the North is dictating terms. They're saying whatever they want about the history of the South, the culture of the South, and they don't like the South, and the South is horrible, and they say whatever they want about the South, and they misrepresent the South. The Southerners will tell you something different about slavery, but it gets ignored. But it would have to be destroyed because black and white people were working together, it was a very successful economy, and then they would eventually have to come in probably try to destroy it and then go back to their home way of life. And then, you know, black and white people would have to rebuild and then they rebuild and then it happens again and stuff like that because they're jealous. They don't, it refutes everything that they say about black and white people working together. So slavery had to be destroyed. And then, um, and then uh, we, we just like take over their system. You understand? And which is what we're ha what's happening now. I guarantee you, if you take bigot racist people from 100 years ago and bring them here now, they'll be so enraged with how much progress black people have achieved in such a short time. Absolutely. So people think that things are not changing. Even some black people think that black people are not progressing. It's like, are you serious? We, we were always fighting an uphill battle to begin with. But the thing is that the progress that we've achieved in 100 years, you understand, is significant significant. But anyway, um, the whole civil war could be looked at uh, different ways. Like it could be like, yes, it was about slavery because for the abolitionists, it was about slavery. And for the Southerners, it was about states' rights. 